What is going on guys and girls, my name is Van Gilf and today we have got for you an Inform Karim Benzema play review. I have reviewed his Inform, his normal card before and I have to say I really, really enjoyed his normal card. It was one of the first reviews I did because I actually packed his normal card but as you can see we did score a few goals with him, we, we played about 6-7 to seven games with him. I have to say I really, I really did enjoy him and the type of striker that he is. As you can see by his in-game stats now, you can see he's got some insane stats, I mean he's got like 97 finishing. 97! finishing that's just insane I mean you cannot get much better than that I can't name you many players that have got that same finishing start or better it's absolutely crazy you know probably Ronaldo or Messi you know those types of players will have it as you can see he's got medium medium work rates he's got four star skill moves four star weak foot so if you're a skiller then that's really really helpful I've got a couple of clips coming up where I actually do use skill to my advantage He's got 4 star weak foot as well so you can shoot with either the left foot or the right foot and I'm just going to get the one thing that really annoyed me with him out of the way first. Look at that bit of skill by the way by Alessandrini, it was beautiful. Um, he just could not win headers for me. I was getting so pissed off with him because he is a big guy. He is like over 6 foot and I've got a couple of examples where he actually does win the ball but he is like 6 foot tall and at least 6 foot tall, I think he might even be 6 foot 2, but he just did not win headers and I was getting so annoyed, look at that, even when he did win a header, it was just, I don't know, it was either straight at the goalkeeper or wide, it was really frustrating, I'm going to look into his passing now and I have to say he was pretty good at getting in either of the wings, for some reason he did these runs off the defenders and kind of like ended up down at the bottom and he was also really good at holding the ball up and playing the wingers through because I used him in a 4-2-3-1 with two wingers I actually did concentrate on going down the wing and crossing the ball in to try and make the most of his heading but obviously that didn't work out for me so a couple of the goals you'll see I just go down the middle like this one here but you saw a moment ago the example of that skill and it really does help his dribbling is fantastic I mean it's like second to none it's so good his ball control is really good as well and this is what I mean by him being like a complete striker. He's not a target man. He's not a finisher. He's not like an architectural kind of player. He won't like um, hold the ball. Well, yeah, he does hold the ball. Well, what I'm trying to say is he does every, like a mix of all of these, but not outstanding in each of these areas, if you know what I mean. He's just a complete forward. He can hold the ball up pretty well. He can, you know, he's pretty quick to be honest, but I wouldn't say he's one of the pace abusy strikers. He's got a great finish on him, as all strikers, you'd expect that. He's pretty damn strong. The only thing that did annoy me was his heading, and I, as I said, you know, I've used his normal card, and I have to say, his normal card, I actually did score a few headers with, and I scored a lot of good goals. So, to me, for me to say to you that this card is worth the coins, I think I would probably be lying because I would just suggest you get his normal card, and for the same, you know, for like. He's the same player basically. I don't. I didn't notice an absolute massive improvement. The things that I did notice the improvement on was the pace, which, as you can see there, it just creates a goal for himself. You know that run forward. He's got the pace to leave the defenders just for dead. To be honest with you, um, yeah. Apart from that, I haven't noticed a massive improvement. His dribbling's got a little bit better. You know, his, his shooting's obviously got better. But for me, his heading just. I don't know why it just didn't seem to be as good this second time round. I didn't get any penalties with him. I did get this free kick, and you know, on another day that might have gone in. But I'm gonna probably give this card a 6 out of 10 just because of the pure fact that he's so much more expensive than his normal card and his normal card is just as good in my opinion you know I could win headers with a normal card the normal card's got fast ass gun with fast ass gun you know all, the, all that crap is just all the exact same the only thing that's a little bit better is his shooting and his dribbling and to be honest it was good enough anyway so just get his normal card for a fraction of the price unless you are like completely adamant that his inform is going to be better yeah, that's my opinion on him, guys. And we're going to move on to this new thing now. It's actually the way I'm going to end my videos from now on. All of my player reviews and squad builders. We've got three players here. If you can name me all three of these players, leave a comment with your guesses and your Twitter name so I can get in touch with you somehow. If you get one guess right, you get 2,500 coins. If you get two right, you get 5,000 coins. And if you get all three right, you get 10,000 coins. Now, remember to leave a comment saying what players you think they are. And then, of course, your Twitter name. There's only going to be one winner per video. So if the winner actually only gets one guess correct, then you're only going to get 2,500 coins. But if you are the lucky guy that actually does get all three of them correct and you get picked, then you're going to win yourself 10,000 coins. Remember to leave a comment saying who you think it is, guys. And also, if you're new around here, remember to leave a like, comment, and as always, subscribe.